To begin with, a contained laboratory uses directional airflow to control a pathogen within a confined space. This is the primary concept of containment. I am now in what is known as an airlock. So this is basically a region in the laboratory in which we have positive pressure. Positive pressure basically keeps any air out from this area on either side. So if you look on this side, if you follow the video, this is the external environment and we look on this side and this side is the basically the area which is under containment. Now this area can be compared to an air curtain at a supermarket entrance. The air basically is a downdraft which locks in the pathogen in the containment zone. I will now proceed to the next zone. So the next zone is maintained at a negative pressure. This negative pressure ensures that air will enter into this zone. However, when it is filtered out for release into the environment, it will be passed through a high efficiency particulate filter. This filter will filter out most of the pathogens by trapping them in a matrix. Basically, the filter has a 0.22 micron size. So, essentially all pathogens and particulates are trapped in the filter. Now, this zone is at negative pressure. In a negative pressure zone, the air is directed towards filters which are located in the ceiling. So the air flows through this, through the ceiling, through a HEPA filter and before it exits into the external environment. This is referred to in bio-risk management as an engineering control. Engineering controls based on directional airflow are a common component in all biological safety laboratories. So as we progress through the laboratory, the directional airflow will continue to drop. For example, we have entered at this location and the pressure is negative here. So as I proceed into the suites or the laboratories areas, the pressure will keep dropping to a lower and lower negative pressure zone. This is the way in which pathogens are confined to this region of the laboratory. So all the work involving pathogens, such as diagnostics and experiments, takes place in these three suites. They are under negative pressure as compared to the zone at which I am standing in right now. This is the way in which an engineering control is applied at this facility to contain microbes to their respective laboratories and working areas. This is the basic concept of containment. Thank you very much for watching.